Hi there, my name is Gopi Ramanathan, and welcome to the City of Starts Health. I've been living here since 2003. I'll start off by telling you a little bit of our history. It was first known as the Third Rapids since French fur traders thought it was the third quote-unquote rapids that they encountered coming up from Minneapolis. One of the first settlers was Joseph B. Sartell, who came here in 1854 from Massachusetts. In 1905, a dam and paper mill were built that would eventually become Verso Paper Mill. The city was incorporated in 1907. In 1925, the Zurich Valve Corporation was started in Sartell by Matt de Zurich. From 1907 to 1973, there was a Sartell on almost every city council, the most famous being Ripley B. Rip Sartell, who was our mayor for about 20 years. We have at present 17 people on the city's police department. One of, one of our most famous police chiefs was Chief Jerry O'Driscoll. In fact, he was so famous that former Governor Arnie Carlson declared December 12th as Chief Jerry O'Dris O'Driscoll Day. Speaking of Sartell, did you know that Sartell is the fastest growing city in Minnesota? It had a 181% jump in its population from 1980 to 2000. One of our mottos is Sartell, alive and growing. Its fast population growth is due to the fact that we are within a day's driving truck, truck driving distance from Winnipeg, Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas City, and St. Louis. Our major employers are Zurich and Verso Paper Mill. We are located on the Mississippi River, and our population is 14,512 at present. If I were to travel anywhere in the world, I would travel to Australia. I've been there before, but it happened so long ago that I don't really remember it. While I'm there, I might visit relatives and the Olympic Stadium in Melbourne. Australia held the Olympics in Melbourne and in Sydney. I would also visit the Sydney Opera House. It may look like a monster coming out of the sea, but in fact the architect designed it so that way it would look like a peeled orange. It, well, Australia is famous for the outback, which is the deserts in the interior of the country. I'd also like to see some of its wildlife, including the koala, koala the kangaroo, and the platypus. If I were put in charge of the earth for an entire day, I'd actually have two top priorities, not just one. One of those two is world peace, and I'd do that by banning all weapons. There's a lot of mayhem going on in this world right now with natural disasters like the earthquake in Haiti, and we don't need wars to cause more mayhem. My other priority would be environmental conservation, and I'd do that by forcing companies that use fossil fuels to get some other type of energy like solar or wind. Some of our biggest natural disasters can be linked to global warming. Also, for those that like snow like me, we would miss snow because the global warming would raise temperatures so high that it just would melt the snow. Anyways, I'm Gopi Ramanathan.